The Mutillidae are a family of more than 7,000 species of wasps, whose wingless females resemble large, hairy ants. Their common name, velvet ant, refers to their dense pile of hair, which most often is bright scarlet or orange, but may also be black, white, silver or gold. Their bright colours serve as aposematic signals, aposematic meaning to warn or repel predators. They are known for their extremely painful stings, hence their common name cow killer or cow ant. However, multilids are not aggressive and will only sting in defence. In addition, the actual toxicity of their venom is much lower than that of honeybees or harvester ants. Unlike true ants, they are solitary and lack complex social systems. Mutilids exhibit extreme sexual dimorphism, which means that males and females differ in more than just sex organs. The males and females are so dissimilar that entomologists, insect scientists, often find it very hard to determine whether a given male and female belong to the same species, unless they're captured while mating. Only the males have wings and only females are capable of inflicting a sting. The stinger is a modified female organ called an ovipositor, which is unusually long and maneuverable. Both sexes are able to produce a squeaking or chirping sound when alarmed, and both bear hair-lined grooves called felt lines. Both males and females have an unusually tough exoskeleton. This allows them to successfully invade the nests of their prey and also helps them retain moisture. Velvet ants avoid predation using the following defense mechanisms. A venomous sting, if female, a posomatic coloration, an alarm secretion from their mandibular gland, a durable exoskeleton, and a stridulatory organ in their abdomen. To stridulate is the act of making noise by rubbing together two parts of the body, most commonly used by insects. Male mutilids fly around in search of females. After mating, the female enters a host insect nest, typically a ground nesting bee or wasp burrow, and deposits one egg near each larvae or pupa. The mutilid larvae then develop as idiobiont ectoparasitoids, meaning that they prevent further development of the host after initially immobilizing. In the mutilid's case, it eventually kills the immobile larval or pupal hosts within a week or two. Mutilids also exhibit haplodiploid sex determination, which means that males develop from unfertilized eggs and females develop from fertilized eggs. 